Ross, today we launch our new and exciting ticket initiative. It's something we've never tried here at Rochdale Football Club, as far as I'm aware anyway. Can you tell us a little bit about why you've decided to introduce this initiative here at Rochdale? Yeah, I think during the short time I've been at the football club, the uh, the lack of attendance, the lack of crowds here has just been really noticeable. You know, I mean, I remember playing uh, Walsall one Tuesday night, won 4-0, and I think we got sub-2,000. We're probably the second worst attended club in the league, and yet we're playing some great football. Um, fourth in the league, playing some fantastic stuff, and yet people are not turning out. So you wonder, why are they not turning out? Um, I think, really, it's a case of affordability. I think that's a, a massive, a massive factor. And of course, looking at this season ticket initiative, there is a potential that fans, adult fans, can come and watch this uh, as for just a one hundred and ten pounds next season. That's affordable football. <laughs> that's affordable, and I think it's also achievable. I think what we've done, we've incentivised the whole scheme. Um, I did something very similar at Hartlepool a few years ago, where we were getting twelve hundred, thirteen hundred season tickets every year never varied really and so we introduced this initiative and in the first season it was just phenomenal I mean we had 6,200 okay that's the first season um, uh, two seasons after that I think we got down to 4,000 uh, the prices went up a bit and now they're established up there at three and a half thousand season tickets every year so really we, we, we sort of trebled the, uh, the gates they had and I think very similar club here on the, uh, on the attendances and I think it's very achievable of course, the, the scheme is incentivised, and I suppose that the main message is there needs to be a, a, a really big drive from the club and, and supporters alike to, to try and hit these targets. Don't get me wrong, Leon, it's a, it's a big drive and it's a big, a big task, but I think it's very, very achievable. I mean, the, uh, the idea from the football club is if we can achieve 4,000 season ticket holders, uh, the tickets will be £110, which is uh, basically 110 to commemorate the 110 years. That's why we've come from that. But the, the bottom end of the scale, uh, we're currently, when I got here, it was about 1250 uh, season tickets. We did the half season ticket offer, which took us to about 1850. So our first target is very achievable, I think. If we can hit 2000 season ticket holders, uh, the prices will be £250. That's for all areas of the ground as well. There's no differentiation between price structures all this is this about keeping it simple we've got to keep it simple we've got to keep the whole thing simple so if you're in the will if you're in the pill street the main stand or the sandy lane it's all one price uh, let's keep it easy let's keep it straightforward i think by complicating things that's when problems arise so to achieve 2000 season ticket uh, holders is 250 pounds for two and a half thousand it's 200 pounds for three thousand it's 150 pounds and for four thousand it's 110 pounds that's for any part of the ground. Of course, we, we're announcing this today, but the, the hard work on behalf of the club started months ago to, to get it to fruition, so we, we'll hopefully be hitting the ground running to try and get to these targets. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the hard work did start a few months ago, I must admit. We've looked at every single aspect of these prices, and we know everybody gets a benefit. And I'll be honest with you, we've, we've looked through, and there's two out of all the categories and all the <laughs> mixture of prices we had, there's probably two... Um, f sets of fans who will probably miss out on the first initiative which is the two, the 2000 one and that's the Sandy Lane uh, seniors and the under 21s so what we've said in that case we will keep the price at what it is 220 uh, until we achieve 2500 then it'll drop to £200 um, the other aspect of it is the under 16 ticket which once we hit the 2000 that'll drop down to £50 and that'll just continue at £50 all the way through uh, the big one for us as well, uh, the one we've really worked on, is the one that we had problems last season, which is the 11 and under, uh, which is a junior uh, season ticket. What we've implemented this year is uh, another way of getting the, the younger element on board, uh, where they become a member of the uh, Junior Dale Club, which we've uh, just formed. As part of the £10 deal for the ticket, no administration charge, they'll be, uh, they'll be a member of the Junior Dale Club, which will receive a uh, June bag, a stationary set, a scarf, especially a limited edition junior scarf as well, a water bottle, introduction card from the manager, quarterly newsletter, they'll get mascot package uh, reductions, they'll get uh, escort, player escort reductions, flag bearing reductions, there'll be all sorts of things added on to attract the junior fan. So I think for £10 for a junior to get all that and a season ticket, it's phenomenal. 
and that helps us as well build on the, the already fantastic match day experience we, we have for the, the little ones at the, the club in terms of the, the events we put on on a match day. Will you be looking to, to add to those as well going forward? Most definitely and I think uh, again going back to looking at things over the last six months we do have an ageing database, we do have an ageing fan base and, and I think at the end of the day that's brilliant, the loyal fans have been brilliant but we've got to start attracting younger fans who again will bring along the parents and I think that's the, that's the uh, target area for us if you like. We're looking at um, uh, the old Studs Bar, the Carlsberg Lounge, we're going to put a kid zone in there so the, the kids experience on a match day is going to uh, uh, be even more enhanced. Just looking at obviously um, the, the targets that they were looking at, do the games over Christmas and the, the half season tickets give you real hope and belief that we can, we can achieve as much as the, the 4,000 tickets? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, I think I mentioned this to you before, we get 1% of the population uh, season ticket holders and if we can double that to 2%, we're there, we've got the 4,000. I think every season ticket holder, if they bring along another two people with them, we're there, we've got there, you know, we've achieved the figure. We'll be attracting businesses as well. Uh, I know in my previous uh, experience with this, we a lot of businesses got behind the, the venture, uh, garages, this sort of thing. Bought you know ten season tickets for the staff because again it's affordable. So the businesses in uh, in the town in the area will uh, will be targeted as well. We also look. <laughs> I keep harping back to the old days, but I think what we've got to do is look at um, uh, United City fans who who want to come down and see real football, if you like. Grassroots football, where you know where it really matters, and I think a lot of the uh, Premier League games now are not played at three o'clock on a Saturday. You know, Sunday afternoons, Monday nights, Friday, whatever. So to come down at three o'clock on a Saturday with a young young family, I think we've got to target that sort of audience. In terms of our existing season ticket holders, those who purchased during the special promotion period last year have vouchers in their book for either twenty-five or fifteen pounds off this season's prices. Yep. And I believe um, they can be honoured. Definitely, most definitely. I mean, again, going back to loyalty, I mean, you've got to appreciate the loyalty that uh, the fans have showed this football club over the years. Uh, last season, these vouchers were introduced before we did this, this brilliant offer, uh, and we will honour the fact that, you know, they will get the, the discounts off that they're entitled to. Uh, conversely, we're also offering, if they want to exchange it for a, a, a lunch voucher at a match, we can do that. We'd prefer to do that, obviously, for the finances of the club. But if they'd like to exchange that for a match day experience up in the lounge for one of the games next season, that's great. Obviously, as part of the, the club, we'll have a, a targeted campaign. We'll be out and about across the area trying to drive up as, as much support for this as possible. In terms of the fans and their support, they can also play a, a key role, can't they? Oh, definitely. It's going back to saying, you know, introducing the two, two fans and we've got 4,000 fans. Once we get the 4,000, which I'm sure is achievable, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a massive target. You look at it, you think 1,800 to 4,000. It's not all that big a, a target, really, and for the cost that they're getting the tickets at. But I think people say, yeah, but we're going to lose out financially. But I think what a lot of people forget is it's the secondary spending in the grounds. Uh, and I think that is one thing that was really, really noticeable when, when I introduced that. We, we'd obviously... We'd obviously budgeted for a, a bigger spend, but the the, uh, the spend was far more than what we'd actually budgeted for. The catering, the bars, the big one was the uh, the uh, retail outlet. Uh, people coming more and spending more in the retail because the season tickets have cost uh, cost you know even less sort of thing. And if we achieve this target, they can come to a game for less than five pounds for adults, which is which is brilliant. You spoke about trying to get local businesses on board. What are, what are the plans surrounding that? Yeah, I think what we've got to do, we've definitely got to get them in board. We'll be visiting a lot of businesses and telling them what we're doing, trying to get their staff in, uh, along to games. You know, if they can buy a batch of 10, 10 season tickets at £100, it's brilliant. We can use it for staff initiatives or whatever. Uh, loads of businesses in town, they'll definitely be targeted. And they soon mount up and then your 4,000 starts getting chipped away at. Looking at the, the mechanism and how this works, it's completely different to what we've done before in terms of taking a £50 deposit. Can you explain a little bit about that for the, the, the supporters? Yeah, we've even looked at that as well because a lot of clubs have an early bird scheme and it's great, an early bird scheme, but again, the fans are having to sort of uh, pay out for a, a, an early bird season ticket in sort of March time, you know, and it's difficult. Finances are difficult, I've covered that one before. So what we've done is we said the £50 will secure the season ticket now and it gives them three months then to save for the season ticket. So you're getting an early bird really at a 
discount price if you like. You pay your fifty pounds now, pay the remainder on the uh, on the twenty first of June, the day the fixtures come out. So I've got the twenty first of June set to get the set prices. You pay fifty pounds now, and the rest of the money is paid in June. So in actual fact, you could pay fifty and then pay sixty on the twenty first of June. Finally, I can tell you are really excited about this initiative, and and we. We're, we've all been looking forward to finally being able to announce this to supporters. And of course, as you touched on earlier in the interview, it is the start of our 110-year anniversary and uh, we'll be looking, I suppose, to do some special things throughout the year as well. Most definitely. Most definitely. We've got loads and loads of different things coming up during the season and I think this £110 is a good, a good start, really. And it shows, that, it shows the people of Rochdale that we are, we are committed and we want people to come and we want people to start using the stadium. We've tried various initiatives over over the last few months, and I think really they've paid off, except for the Port Vale game being uh, <laughs> being Was that a big disappointment oh, massive, when that was called massive, off after all the hard work it, that had gone into promoting that fixture? Massive, but uh, but again we've honoured that for a pound as well. So you know, and we'll see how we turn out for that as well. But uh, no, I really hope the people of Rochdale get behind it and show the people out there in the football world that there are fans here. It's about striking up relationships, as we've seen with the Rochdale Borough White Housing and the, the council as well, from initiatives and of course the, the the pound initiative for Port Vale. I was one of the people that went into the town centre and we had a conversation with so many people that didn't know too much about us, but having spent five minutes with them, they actually bought a ticket for the game. Is it about the, that yeah. relationship? I think you're absolutely spot on there, Leanne. I think uh, you spent five minutes. If we can actually get them here, we can spend two hours with them, and I think we can see what we're doing here. Um, I, I reckon, I'm just roughly guessing, probably 70% of the people in Rochdale have never been here. Probably don't even know we exist, some people. And I think it's just getting them to get that first foot in the ground to, to see what the atmosphere is like. People have perceptions about football who've never been there before, you know, and I think they've got to see what's happening now, you know, on the kids' side. And it's a family day. I'm trying to push family days.